milliliters of dichloromethane um, in this mortar. Uh, I'll just demonstrate that it burns, giving off horrible city black smoke. But, oh god, that's what happens when you buy cheap, cheap torches from China. Isn't that safe? Um, that only happens when the butane bottle is, bottle is completely full, but yeah, anyway, the DCM seems pretty non-flammable really. Right, attempt number two, I've uh, cleaned out the mortar and i put in um, about 10% hexane, 90% dichloromethane, and we shall just try this. Similar, really. It's not not really self-sustaining. Number three, I have five milliliters of DCM and 2.5 milliliters of hexanes. Oh, well, that lasts a little bit longer, but it is still it is still going out. So, one third hexanes is apparently not enough for it to be self-sustaining. Right. Attempt number four, this is equal volumes of dichloromethane and hexane. And it's still self-extinguishing. Well, maybe not. Yeah. I, I would still say that's self-extinguishing because it is going out after Maybe I'm talking shit. It's always a possibility. There is still fuel left in there, still liquid left in there. Um, so that did self extinguish. Um, so yeah, at 50% hexane, still not flammable really. I'm going to try uh, DCM and methanol now. This is 2.5 milliliters of DCM and 250 microliters of methanol. Just make sure that's mixed up. Um, Well, that's definitely still self-extinguishing, really. Right, and that's two and a half milliliters of DCM plus 250 microliters of anhydrous denatured ethanol. And it's still self-extinguishing.